Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted, as always, as you know, to be joined by Cash Farouk. Cash, how's things, brother? I know you're just about to go training or heading to the gym, so how's things? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Just, uh, yeah, it's a nice day, so I was like, oh, let me get my session out the way, then relax a, relax a, relax a phone, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, just chill out. I, just, I want to talk about your last two fights, Cash, because they've been absolutely tremendous fights to watch. As a, yeah. as a fan, and you sit back and you watch Cash Farouk yeah. fight, you're always in decent fights. Your head movement, you're always inside the pocket. I think Matthew Macklin says it as well. He says that just your upper body movement's unreal. So mm. have you sort of taken a conscious effort to become more fan-friendly for some reason? Because it seems like you're just... I know you've always had that fan-friendly style, yeah. but the last two fights, especially against a Mexican and a Nicaraguan, yeah. you've produced the good. You've produced two amazing fights. Yeah, I think uh, she always says you're going up levels. These boys want to win. You know mm. what I mean? And uh, obviously it's a different type of thing, you know what I mean, the different type of styles you've gone up against, you know I mean, and especially the last one as well, you're not boxing British fighters, you know what I mean, you're boxing tough, really tough boys, and they bring something different, you? you know, so you're training, you're training different as well, and you're, you're mentally as well, you're, you don't go into a fight, it's going to be a tough night's work, so, you know what I mean, the, the, these type of fights bring the best out, you know what I mean, because you're training hard, you're up for it, you get up in the morning, you're training really, really hard, and you know, you've got the you've got the nervous when you're going to the fight. So this is the things that obviously get you the best performance performance on the night. I mean, talk to me about your last fight, the WBC International title. Yeah. You won the WBA International uh, Continental yeah. title, whatever it was, in your second fight against a Mexican. And uh, the last, especially the last fight as well, you seem to be you seem to be hurting your opponents, but not get quite in, getting them out there. Is that just testament to how tough these Mexicans and how tough these Nicaraguans are? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a guy that's a big. I'll be honest, I'm not a guy that's gonna knock me off one punch or I'm a massive puncher. I'm not gonna ever do that. You know, what I mean, but but some of these guys are tough. You know, what I mean, so, you know, sometimes you kind of just get rid of them. So you just need to obviously play smart. And, you know, what I mean, just what do you call think think your way through the fight. You know, what I mean, and you know, and that that's the way I done it the last two fights. You know, what I mean, because uh, if you try and go looking for it, you end up getting knocked out yourself. You know, what I mean, so I. Like I say, you you you're getting a lot of plaudits from like professional fighters like Tony Bellew mm-hmm. and stuff like that. They, they and Matthew Macklin that I mentioned. The, the, for guys that haven't seen you fight, obviously we we saw you fight in small hole shows up in Scotland. Yeah. Now, you put, now you're up on you're on Sky Sports. Everyone's getting to see you, and, and your style is like I said, she's as fan friendly yeah. and stuff like that. But when you see your guys like Tony Bellew and all these ex professional fighters say how exciting you are and the style that you have. When you hear them say all this stuff, good stuff about you, Cash. What how does that make you feel? No, it makes me always feel, it makes me always feel great. I mean, they're coming from world champions, and you know they're all good. They're good fighters. I mean, you used to watch them when you're as an amateur. You used to watch them TV become world champions. Mm-hmm. You know, Tony Bellew and Matthew Mackel. I used to watch them obviously growing up in the boxing, and uh, it's great compliments again for them type of fighters. You know, I mean, for, it push, makes me want to push hard in the gym and improve and improve and you know, and uh, these are the type of things. It's good to get compliment, compliments off on these type of fires. And, you know, I mean, you're doing something right if you're doing you get type, these type of comments on fires, that that level, you know what I mean? So, yes, it is really nice coming from them. Eddie Hearn himself, he, he seems to be very keen on getting you a world title shot very, very soon. He thinks you're at that yeah. level now and you're, and you're ready. I mean, are you ready for this world title? Is, is Eddie right? I don't know, to be honest. You know what I mean? As always, as you know, if you, when you go up in levels, you're going to always find out, you know what I mean? For me, I, you know, I mean, whatever the point for me, I'm gonna box. But you know, as you as always, as seeing a box and boxing, you go is levels in that game. You know, I mean, you need to build into it. You know, I mean, and uh, obviously that's I've got a manager and I've got a team behind me that's gonna obviously get me there to the right steps. You know, I mean, because you kind of just go deep into it. You know, I mean, we know already. So that's what I really have got a manager myself. Obviously, I'll say I'll accept any fight, but that's the reason I've got a manager and a trainer that obviously get me on the right steps. You know, I mean, the right fights at the right time. You know, I mean, to get me in the, when it's the right opportunity. You know, I mean. But, but I, like I said to you, like we, we in Scotland, we know how good you are. We we watch, yeah. like Alex Arthur's always always said things about how good you are. Now yeah. you get now you're starting to branch out, and the whole of the UK is starting to know who Cash Farouk is. Do you know Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, for for you, what is next for you? I mean, you you fought two tough fights, two very very yeah. strong opponents. You've went the distance with both of them, but you've 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 shown your skill level. Yeah. Are you looking for an even bigger and dangerous opponent than the last two against Alvarez and Espinosa? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I mean, I want to keep again harder opponents the next one. So I want to go up another another step. You know, I mean, obviously uh, Alvarez was a good step. Then the next one, uh, Espinosa was another good step. And I want to get to a next step as well. The next good opponent that can, you know, I mean, these type of fights bring the best out. You know, what I mean, and they show you a different side of you. you know, what I mean, 
these other my, some of my fights are but some of my no no I meaning you know what I mean so I'm hoping hoping when I get a step up fight no I meaning the and it'll be another it'll be another great fight I think Masters is a fight that you know I mean I'm always in good fights no I mean you know so I'm hoping I get a good step up on the you know what I mean I'm hoping maybe in August time maybe being out because I need like my cuts heal up a wee bit under my eyelid no to be I'm I'm having a wee look I can I can't quite see them. I uh, you know I'll go my stitches up last week. I I heat, I, I heat up quite quick, but I didn't get my stitches. I got my stitches up a couple of days ago, so I'll need to let that heal up. My eyes, you know what I mean? Because they, they were quite bad under my eyelid. You know I mean, because twice has opened up now. Yeah, you I know? mean, like I say, I seen that the little clip that Coogan done with you with the uh, Connor yeah. Ben and stuff like. That. What other things were Con? What kind of advice and stuff was Connor saying to you? Yeah, I said it was a good fight. You know I mean, we just had a brief moment, just a few words here and there. You know I mean, but yeah, he he done as well. He's done great on his fight, so. Yeah, I was now, you know, I mean, I was, I was happy with the performance, everything. You know I mean, but you know, I me mean, always says, as you're always gonna go back and obviously be my trainers always let me credit to me doing. You gotta do this right now, so, but that's me. You go back in the gym and work on things. You know, I mean, and you know, I me mean, do wanna, you don't wanna say, oh, that was a perfect performance. You're not gonna get that in a fight. You know, I mean, you always wanna go back and perfect your craft in the gym. You know, what I mean, I know, like I always hate talking about the Lee McGregor rematch yeah. and stuff like, cause you're probably sick and tired of it. But Eddie Hearn, <laughs> he wants it. He wants it so bad, and it's like, yeah. I hate. Hi, Akash, you still there? Yeah, I've got you back. Hi, Akash. Hi, sorry, you were just uh, froze there, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, all I was saying was like, are you sick and tired of hearing about this rematch? Even when Eddie Hearn, even when Eddie Hearn mentions it. Yeah, of course you are. You know, I mean, you do get sick of it. You know, I mean, I believe always Lee's on his mo- in his own thing at the moment. And I'm in my own. My, my, my only mind switches on to a fight when it's signed and sealed. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's the way my mind switches on, to be honest. I don't really think about it until it's signed and sealed. Then I, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm boxing him next. You know, I mean, I know, I know this talk's so obviously a big fight. It's going to happen. It makes sense this and that. You know what I mean? But my, mind, my mind's not on it. I don't really think about it until it's, until it's signed and, and it's done. You know what I mean? Then I'm like, oh, I'm boxing him next. And that's like, you know I mean, because you, you can have a few hard fights before that. You know what I mean? And things might go upside down. So, you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't really look, oh, I'm going to box. As long as I get through these fights, I'm going to box. Him. So, I'm like that. Well, whoever my next opponent is, that's what I'm focusing on. And, you know what I mean? When that fight's happened, you know what I mean? When it's signed and sealed, then I can focus on him. You know what I mean? Always is, at the moment, it's just talks, you know what I mean? And yeah. they want, everybody wants to see it, you know what I mean? But it's just, like I said, it's just talks at the moment, you know what I mean? Definitely. And I, 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 I like I said to you, I, I, I hardly talk to you in there, about, but when Eddie Hearn seems yeah. to be banging that drum quite a lot, which is, he's a problem. Yeah, it's a big fight, you know what I mean? It's a yeah. big fight. It makes sense, obviously. It makes a big fight. Obviously, it makes sense for him. So it's, it's a fight that would obviously sell, I, th- I think, anyway, in my opinion, it sells Hydro. It's only five, Hydro's only five minutes down the road from me as well, so. I'm, I'm not too far away, you know what I mean? I'm not too far away from you. That's definitely a whole thing for you, Cash. Yeah, it's a thing, you know what I mean? So it would be ideal, you know what I mean? If it did ever happen, it's, it's a perfect venue, you know what I mean? You know? But you, you've you got a good team behind you, Craig and, and St. Andrews and stuff like that. But yeah. do you ever look at the rankings at world level and see who's ahead of you and who you would like to fight? I mean, there's some some good names in that Bantamweight division, not just outside the world champion. Yeah. A good fight for you might even be like uh, Maloney. What is it, Jason Maloney? That's in your division from Australia. Yeah, I think so. I want, yeah, I think one of one of the brothers anyway. You know what I mean? But yeah, any of these fights. You know what I mean, and uh, for me, I've obviously have my manager's always he picks a right. Obviously, he picks a fight, and I'm like that. Uh, and he's like, guy. Uh, this is the way you're gonna box, and I'm like that. Uh, my my, my job is only just to get ready and yeah. train and respond, and that's it. You know what I mean? And get ready for the day. That's my job. You know what I mean? And that's my trainer's job. We just get ready for the night, and that's it. You know what I mean? I don't care who they're putting from me. I'll box anybody. You know what I mean? I've got to say as well, like I go back to your your your, your last fight there against Espinosa. Yeah. I mean, it was similar to the fight against Avila's. It was it was. Yeah. I guess I'm I'm watching it, enjoying it. Like I I, I know yeah. how good you are. I just sat there and I was watching it with my my missus as well. And it's just yeah. you fight is just so skillful when your head yeah. and stuff like that. Do you, when you do you enjoy fighting in that way? I mean, you do get hit, but you hit back twice as hard. Yeah. As you, I mean, you're always in a, a cracking cracking fight. Um, do you intend to go out there and put on like a show for the fans? No, uh, yeah, of course you're not putting on a show. Sometimes you get to do things, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just get you're in the moment, you know what I mean? Some things obviously you, you always you want you want to win the easiest way possible. You don't want to win it the hard way. Mm-hmm. Somebody just get dragged or you might you know I mean you might need to be able to do things like that. And just the way it doesn't fight, you know, I mean, you might plan things. I'm just gonna go do that, then it might change. So you know what I mean? But well, I see why would I fight my style is that type of thing that I'm gonna be in. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be in decent. I'll be in good fights. You know what I mean? You know and uh, but you know I've uh, obviously but things always you don't make it easy as it can. Sometimes you can. You know what I mean? Sometimes you need to push it out and drag out a fight. You know what I mean? And I think that was just one of them fights I needed to. You know what I mean? And but I could have made it a wee bit easier. That's why I miss you're gonna go back to the gym and work on things. You know what I mean? 
you know, and uh, that's what that's what I plan to do for the next fight, you know. Do you think with the, with the cuts under you in, in your eyes and stuff like that, is that yeah. I mean, you you never step outside of the pocket, you, your head yeah. movement is inside the pocket and stuff like like that, but I don't think I, I saw you get hit, so I was wondering why your eyes were like yeah. that. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know to be honest. I don't know. I don't know why my. I don't know. I, oh, both of them opened up. It must be my previous car or something. Yeah. And it was going. Right, it was going right into my eyes. And think after the ninth round or something. And it was quite. It's quite bothering me. I mean, I even opened up against Lee McGregor's fight. The cuts and it was yeah. on my left eye. And it's not always. It's not a nice feeling. You know, I mean, you can't really see a thing. You know, I mean, because it's because you're be, not blind, but you're near enough. You know, you're always seeing as red. And yeah. But you know, it is what it is. You know, I mean, just you just need to live with that and adapt to it. You know, what I mean. I mean, like I say, the last few fights you won a WBA Continental and then you won a WBC yeah. International. Is as your team spoke about which route you want to go, the WBA and WBC, which route do you want to go? No, 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 nothing yet. You know, I mean, they always say they just uh, they gave me build me experience and get many good decent fights like that. You know, I mean, they get me good experience from me that at that level. You know, I mean, it's a different type of level as you know, and uh, that's what I do at the moment. You know, I mean, always the next fight will be a good step up again. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I mean. Are you, I'm thinking you're not wanting any any more tough Mexicans or any tough Nicaraguans. You I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bothered. I mean, a fight, a fight's a fight. You know, I mean, you gotta, you know, I mean, you gotta fight whoever they put in front of you. I'm no, I'm not too fast. I mean, for me, I, my job is only to get ready. And if they put that guy in front of me, I'm ready. You know, I mean, I don't, I'm not really bothered who they put in front of me. You know, you know, Men, I just, I just get mentally ready, and that's it. You know, you study, physically, is all. Okay. You study anyone <laughs> you're fighting? <laughs> uh, sorry. Do you study anyone you're fighting when you get the name of who you're fighting? Do you study them on YouTube? Or no, you? obviously you watch. You watch, you obviously you watch a wee bit. What do you call them? See what he's like, and uh, you know what I mean. And obviously my trainer does that, and we go back and he tells me things what to do on the night. And obviously thumbs up. Obviously things don't always work to plan, but you know what I mean. You go with what he's told you, and that's it. You know what I mean. And we work in the gym for a couple of weeks, and that's it. You know what I mean. And obviously he, dr he drills into me. You gotta keep doing this. You know I mean, that's and that's it. You know we've been doing that since the beginning since I've been with him. You know what I mean. And that's it. You build habits. You know what I mean. Well, I won't give you much longer, Cash. I know you're um you're going you're going training and stuff like that. But you got anything you'd like to add? Anything you'd like to say to your fans and people watching this? Yeah, I just, I just want to obviously thank everybody for the sport. You know, I mean, I've always just been blown away with the sport for the last obviously few fights, especially with the pandemic and lockdown yeah. as well. You know, and uh, I know people can't come obviously into arenas and that, but you know, meeting my sponsors and that they've been supporting me right through the pandemic, so I really appreciate that from every one of them. So. You know, I mean, hopefully this is, I'm hoping this is the last fight behind closed doors for me, especially, you know what I mean? I'm hoping by the time I box next time, there's, there's a, I hope there's a few people, hope there's a few people there any, anyway, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, you know, even if there's a hundred people I'm taking down or something, you know what I mean? I can, you know I mean? They can come and watch, you know, it'd be great. Because uh, it's been about a year and a bit, year and a half by the time I box, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then no one's came to see me, you know what I mean? So my manager and my trainer have been there. So it'll be great, it'll be great, you know what I mean? People will come. See, because I'm just thinking that if that fight was in somewhere else, it'd be a great, you know what I mean? Think about the atmosphere and that. It would, yeah. it would have been great, you know what I mean? You know, so I'm, I'm hoping, you know I mean, if things change by the time August comes, you know what I mean? Well, fingers crossed, mate. I hope, I, I hope you, you do get, yeah, I think your fans are deprived of watching you live because, like I said, you've got a fan-friendly style. So yeah. um, no, I watch the fight, as you know. Um, <laughs> uh, I enjoy it. So I, I don't mind. I hope oh, thanks, Andrew. Hopefully I'll be at the next uh, cash. I really, I really. I good. hope so. But fingers, fingers crossed, mate. I mean, fingers crossed. So I I'll, hope so. I'll ask Coogan. I'll ask Coogan if I can get the next one then. <laughs> uh, it'd be great. No, it'd be great to have in the bubble. If we're in the bubble, mate. You know what I mean, definitely cash. Well, I won't get keep you much longer, mate. Go and enjoy training, and uh, I'll catch Thanks up with you, brother. Mate, you take care. I'll do right. Thanks a lot, mate. Bye, bye, mate. Well, thank you.